So welcome everyone to the news of the week ending December 15th, 2017. Got some anime news for you this time, starting with news from Crunchyroll and Funimation about their uh, winter anime simulcasting plans. Uh, they've got at least seven new anime. This is not everything, but this is just kind of what they're starting off with. So we've got uh, Crunchyroll and Funimation doing um, at least seven anime. Darling in the Franks, Death March to the Parallel World Rhapsody, Katana Maiden's Tochi, Toji no Miko, Citrus, Junji Ito Collection, Basilisk the Oka Ninja Scrolls, aka Basilisk Oka Ninpocho, and Hakata Tonkatsu Ramens. This is in addition to um, the Cardcaptor Sakura Clear Card anime that they will be releasing. So that's good stuff, good news. Welcome to the chat room, folks. Uh, and Funimation announced, this is, or, or emphasized, this is the first round of their announcement. So more is coming, which is good. Speaking of more coming, we have more news from Mamoru Hosoda about his next anime film called Mirai no Mirai, or Mirai from the Future. This is something that he is working on. It will open in Japan July 20th, so coming up, you know, in half a year, which is pretty cool. It's pushed back from a May release date initially. And uh, the basic plot is going to be about a four-year-old boy who has discovered that a, well, discovers, uh, whose mother gives birth to a uh, baby girl. So there's a, a new kid in the house, and he's feeling a little frustrated with that. Uh, and then time travel happens. And so I think he starts meeting other members of his family from other time periods. And then he also meets like an older version of his new sister. So that sounds kind of fun and interesting. Um, so does directing it. The same animation director who worked with him on Girl Who Left Through Time and Summer Wars and Boy and the Beast is also working um, on it as well as one of the key animators. Um, both of them returning as animation directors um, and um, um, other art directors from other Hosoda works, so forth and so on. No mention here of um, character designs. Um, I assume it's still um, same character designer, but who knows? Anyway, um, uh, he says, uh, and it is written by Hosoda, um, but he did uh, listen to other people, apparently, for this story. Other cool bit about that, by the way, um, it will be airing in 57 countries. It will be screening in 57 countries when it comes out, which is pretty darn cool. Um, and uh, negotiations, negotiations are underway for North America and France, so those are, those are definitely on the list. Um, the requirement is they have to screen the film in theaters first, then open it up to broadcast and streaming and all that kind of stuff. So they want to make sure it's, it's, it's in theaters uh, for folks. And uh, that's pretty darn cool. Uh, movies on time will be about 100 minutes. So that is um, uh, that is that is a thing that's going to happen, which is pretty cool. Um, good to hear that uh, things are progressing on that film. Also progressing on Kyoto Animation's next work. Let's see if I can get this going up here. A uh, Violet Evergarden. We now know that that will air January 10th. Uh, and that will um, air on a couple of different um, Japanese TV stations, as well as Netflix. Netflix will stream the anime series worldwide. Um, what's interesting is that, here's the thing, um, it will air on um, in Japan on Netflix simulcast. But it'll air outside of Japan in spring. So basically, we have to wait for the Netflix version until spring until it's done airing in Japan, which is kind of weird. Not quite sure why they're doing it that way, but that is just kind of what we have to live with. So I'm going to wait a little while on Violet Evergarden, but eventually it will it will hopefully show up and we will see whatever um, KyoAni is working on next. Uh, really, really, really can't, can't wait. Speaking of um, interesting uh, and remarkable things available streaming, um, Your Name is now available on Amazon Prime. So, just as I say this, of course, my tablet decides to, to crash, and it does not show me what I want to um, look at, but, uh, yeah, so basically, your name um, is now available on, uh, on Prime, uh, and you can um, uh, watch it there, which is pretty darn cool. Uh, apologies for this weird little thing. There we go. Um, 
Uh, what's interesting is there were um, some issues with the uh, UK Blu-ray edition, which um, is not present in the Amazon version. So they fixed that for the Amazon Prime release. So if you have Prime, you can watch your name right now, subbed and dubbed. Yay! Hooray! Um, speaking of Amazon, they're also going to stream an upcoming anime series, which I think is coming out in winter, called... Uh, gosh, sorry. Uh, this is not the way I'm going to, have to do this in the future. This just is not working for me. Um, just, it's bouncing all over the place, and I just can't do what I want to do with the thing. So, you know, you live and you learn, and you find out what's going to work. So there's this anime coming out called Killing Bites. Um, let's see here. Um, and the anime will be streamed on Amazon, Amazon Prime Video Worldwide, exclusively airing the director's cut. Meaning, it will also show on MBS and TBS and Japanese television stations, but the streaming version will be the director's cut version. That's really interesting. Um, what I'm unclear on from the news article is whether the Amazon Prime Video version will be more or less simulcast. So there may be a delay uh, on what's actually there on Amazon Prime versus what's airing, you know, on terrestrial television. But interesting, this idea of having the um, streaming version be the uncut version uh, and then being able to kind of put it right there and kind of advertise that. That if you go to the streaming version, you will get the full version, if you will. Interesting. Um, I mean, then it also depends on what that actually, you know, what that actually is and how much of a difference the director's cut is. Uh, finally, um, uh, uh, some fun news for Nanoha fans. The magical lyrical Nanoha reflection anime film will screen in the U.S. theaters on February 9th. So, if you're interested in the latest Nanoha film, uh, it will be in Japanese with English subtitles, um, released by Eleven Arts, uh, and um, it will again it will be subbed. Uh, trailer is out now. Uh, no news otherwise about you know, how many films. I'm sure it'll be a limited release, but it'll be out there. So if you want to see that, good, um, good on them. Good for Nanoha fans. Um, good on all that. So uh, that is the news for this week.